It is the only appearance in Toronto this season for LeBron James, although Raptor fans likely can expect some more come the spring. And for DeMar DeRozan and the Toronto Raptors, everything they have done in changing their philosophy has been with an eye on beating their opponents tonight. Time to begin that process of believing. But this is the third and four nights for the Raptors, and I worry about that. And two veterans gone, not just two starters, but two veteran starters. That's going to be tough, and I know Cleveland's going to be coming out for blood because they have played really poorly. This is a top five team in the NBA, the Raptors. Like by record, by offensive efficiency, defensive efficiency, they're really good. It's a shame that they get here and they're missing two starters for a couple of different reasons because you don't get to really show all of America who you are. But just being on national television, that has, there's been a lot of years where that didn't happen here. I think you also want to send a bit of a message that, you know, anybody that thinks that our record is a fluke or it's not as good as, as perhaps it looks, send that message that yes it is. Because I, I think you can even do that in a loss, but go down absolutely fighting then. Don't allow an opponent to come in here and smack you on your home floor. tough one tonight just because of the confluence of where the teams have just come from where they meet tonight and the fact that they are going to be neck and neck the entire way through this season how exciting is that hey man it's not come around tonight man let's bounce back from the night before play hard play together man play smart man let's go. this is the first of three meetings you want to establish your footing um i think the game will be outstanding a sold out crowd at the air canada center to see lebron james and the Cavaliers to take on DeMar DeRozan and the Toronto Raptors. And here's the three and good from Quebec City. And Norman Powell with the three-pointer. Fred Van Vliet is out tonight as he is knocking down shots. Van Vliet on a big stage. You know, just some of those go down early. You start feeling good. Um, the basket gets bigger. We were able to play in transition, play fast. Here comes the drive. And back the other way comes Norm Powell to scoop it up and in. And the Raptors lead by 21 points. We got a lot of ball movement. Guys started getting open shots, cuts, easy layups, and you know we stayed that way the whole game, playing fast. Jakob puts it on the floor, gets by Love and look out! Pascal painting pictures right down Main Street, and the Raptors have got up 23 points. And that's gonna do it, folks. As the Toronto Raptors absolutely obliterate the Cleveland Cavaliers, 133-99 the final. This game doesn't make or break us. This, you know, we still got how many more games to go. So whether we lost the game tonight or won the game tonight doesn't define who we are. We're still a work in progress. Uh, if you saw our team the last two games, we had, what, 13 assists, 19 assists last game, so it wasn't us. So we're going to be, you know, uh, it's, again, it's not over with. We still have work to do as far as moving the ball and making that part of our playing personality every night. And uh, no matter who you play or how they're playing you. So uh, tonight was good. We just got to keep it consistent. Raptors tonight against Golden State. Last time these two teams played, the Raptors were right there. And what happened? Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. Durant cruises into the front court. On a pull-up play, tied. 1-12, 1-12. I do remember the biggest comeback ever by an opponent against the Raptors was 27 in Golden State when Toronto 
Looked like they had him dead to rights and Golden State came back. Curry in front of the Raptor bench. Yes, he did. They've come all the way back from 27 down in lead by two. I remember game one this year where they were up five with less than two minutes to go and just and couldn't get a bucket coming home. I remember the game here last year where Toronto was in it and then it's kind of like trying to hold water in your hands. The fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter, it just got away from it. In the corner, the three, and it's good. And that's her 12th meet three tonight. So I, I remember a lot of those games. I mean, and it, that, isn't that how it is when you're a, a gambler or somebody that loses or, a, you know, you remember the losses and the way they came about? I mean, one of those teams that if you don't come out with a supreme focus, intensity and everybody tied together that that you know it could it could get ugly so I think I think they're they're scary enough for where and as you know they're defending champs and you get everybody's best shot and um, you know we usually give them our best shot Toronto has a grittiness that people don't give them credit for uh, there's a pride there uh, I think Dwayne Casey Nick Nurse, Rex Kalamian, uh, go all the way down the line, you know, Patrick Matumba, like all the, all the coaches, you know, the video guys, they all do a, a really good job and, and in terms of preparation, they may not have executed it all the time, but they were prepared and I think this team is always prepared for the fight and what's coming. Durant. In the paint, Green with OG right there. Here's Durant, open three, good. They cause chaos, utter chaos. When you turn the ball over, the long crossover, driving Green right there. Tough pass in traffic, and scooped up by Green, nearly picked off by Wright. Curry to Durant, and that time two hands. Wrapped is a step to a step and a half slow. I mean, they're just getting carved up right now. I mean, this is as bad as I've seen them play defensively all year. And I'll say this, this is an aberration, not a true pattern and a reflection of how they normally play. They are a good team, and on many nights, they're very good. Tonight, defensively, frankly, they've been lousy. First half was way too much respect, and they're a great team. No, get me wrong, no disrespect to Golden State. But we did not compete with the confidence and the swagger you got to have in the first half. They look sharp. Curry is back, and they're wheeling and dealing. This is respect. They come in here and said, you know what? We don't want to hear about the Raptors being a contender. We're going to let everyone know that maybe you got a lot of work to do. I thought our teams really, really competed at a high level in the second half once they believe, hey, we can, we can beat this team. DeRozan. Operating in the main side step, left and the foul. He's got 33. He don't run Toronto. It was 27. Rebound Valanciunas. We might be witnessing one of the greatest comebacks in Raptor history, Jack. It's good on the team. Definitely a better second half, not only for the Raptors, as Norm slices through, it's back to 10. Durant, no, Miles with it. Look at Steve Kerr working the officials. Here's CJ, the great oh, Raptors right there, 113-108. Do you believe? The building is on fire. Oh, yeah, it's big. You know, obviously, nobody likes to play bad. We're all prideful guys, and, uh, you know, we got in got in there at a weird point of the game where they were just scoring on all cylinders, and we weren't really, didn't really have an answer for that. So, um, like I said, I was able to tighten it up in the second half. It's a long game. We understand that. And we got, you know, some tough guys, and, and we just try to bounce back and, and make it respectable and, and had a chance there at the end. Four-point game. Here's a two. Shot good, and it's 
It's a three-point game. You know, this was a situation we saw at Golden State. Raptors came down. Remember, Kyle Lowry missed that big shot. Curry comes down, makes a shot. The Raptors are going to come up two points shy. But the fans are on their feet in appreciation of this second half effort from the Toronto Raptors. It, they came up short, but they left it all out there, Jack. Yeah, I mean, one of the craziest games I've ever been a part of to be as bad as we were in the first half and, you know, as good as we were in the second half, you don't even remember the first half, to be honest. Like, you know, we just kind of remember how we played in the second half and the fight that we showed and everything come down to the wire. Obviously, none of that matters unless you get the win. So uh, we had a chance to do that, came up short and, you know, got to move on. The season doesn't stop and there's no time to really get too high or too low. Um, just try to learn from it, keep it moving. But if any game ever that I've been a part of was a roller coaster, that would be the one, you know, super high and super low at the same time. I've never seen that like that before. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God.